Yo, in the beer industry, you need mental toughness. Mental toughness is what you need. Because, like, most of the time when you start out as a beer delivery driver, you, um, you're going to start out as a swing driver. You're not going to get right on a route because they're seniority guys. If you get right on a route without uh, being a swing driver, then you'll luck, you're lucky. What I mean by swing driver, you'll be the guy who works in the warehouse and fill in for guys who are, um, who are sick, call off of work, and, and on vacation. But yeah, you're going to need mental toughness because you're going to go into these accounts they're not going to know you, especially if you're new. If you're brand new, they're not going to know you. And um, they're going to uh, they're going to mess with you. The people at the store are going to mess with you. For instance, if you once you come into the store, you're really not going to know where to park. And you may not park in a place that's inconvenient, but it's just not the place where the regular guy usually parks. And they're going to tell you, go move your truck even though you're not in the way of anything. Go move your truck. Can't park there. Which, that may not be true because you might drive by another day and see somebody from a different company park there. Like, if you work for Miller Lite, you might see the Budweiser driver park there. So, it's usually your preference of where you want to park. Another thing is... There's some accounts you do take uh, packages and you might stack them away. You might stack them away and rotate them a little bit, you know. And there's other accounts where you got your stuff in the cart, you roll it, you drop this, the product there and just roll and walk away without handling the product. They will tell you that you have to put that away. They will lie to you and tell you you have to put that away. That will get on your nerves. That will drive you crazy. You need to have mental toughness. You got to have mental toughness. Because then you're going you're gonna to come back and you're going to talk to your driver. And he went, oh, you, no, you don't have to do that. He's going to tell you. you. You didn't have to put that away. And it's going to take you a longer time because you're going to be figuring all this out on the fly. You know, you're going to be figuring all this out as you're there doing it. Um another thing this has to do with just pedestrians on the street civilians they're always there's every day you're gonna have somebody asking you telling you you're going the wrong way with that beer my truck's over there you're delivering to the wrong place you need to be delivering to my address they're gonna be telling you all this and it's and and it's going to be fine at first. It's going to be a little jokey, but then you're going to be hearing it over and over and over and over. And it's going to be like torture. It's going to be like torture. You need to have mental toughness. You got to have mental toughness. Those are a few things right off the top of my, my brain. Um, let's say um, you go to a place and they pay you with a check, right? They pay you with the check and they're going to, and you have a hundred cases to deliver. It could take you about an hour to deliver 100 cases. You're there, you sweating, you working your butt off, breaking your back, sweat equity. And once you get done, you're going to go to get paid and they're going to say, hey, I don't have my check right now. Can you come back later? And that's going to, you know, that's going to get you very irritated because this whole time they know you were dropping the product and then they tell you you don't have the check right and then on top of that you run your route you run like crazy now you out of sequence because you have to come back and then you come back and they still don't have it you need to have mental toughness and you need to have a strategy there's a strategy for that as well but these are a few things you need to look into when getting to the industry so the, here's a few suggestions i'll tell you if you're going to swing drive for somebody this is what you need to do you need to ask them okay is, i'm new to this and ask them as many questions as you can at this account can you tell me if i'm putting 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 the product away or am i um or am i just dropping it 
Is there are certain places I need to park? Ask as many questions like this as you can. Is there something I need to do? Do I need to bring in Miller Lite first? Or is there anything they prefer me to bring in first? You know, make sure you ask all these questions. And so that's what it is. Make sure when you get your beer delivery job, you go in there with mental toughness. All right.